Hey, how you doing? This is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Today's video blog is about mastering sobriety and embracing teetotalism. Uh, and I want to talk to you about mindset, mentality and passion today, because um, I've been doing this quite a few years now and I've met a lot of drinkers and I've met a lot of people who've nailed this. A lot of people who've gone from absolute misery to having the most beautiful, amazing, perfect life because they took this drug out of their lives. Now, I've also met hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who have failed, who didn't want it enough. And that's the question I have for you this, this morning is, if you have a problem with alcohol, if it's making you miserable, if you're waking up every morning full of guilt and regret, if you're letting down your family, if you're just not being the best that you can be because alcohol is stealing so much from you, then I got to ask you a question. Give me a score out of 100. How much do you want to stop drinking forever? And if the answer is 99 out of 100, you're screwed. You're not going to do it. It has to be 100. This has to be something you are focused on like a laser beam. Because I have dealt with drinkers over the years, and I know when I meet someone, whether they're going to do it or not, because you can see it in their eye. You've got to get this mindset that you want this filth out of your life. You want this poison out of your body and you'll do anything to get it out. Right? Because I keep seeing these comments from members of my program and they go, they, they go like this. Uh, good luck to everyone over the weekend. Hope you get through it. Get through what? You know, and then comments will come and say, uh, uh, tough weekend, but I managed to get through it. Uh, didn't buckle. What do you mean didn't buckle? What, you didn't drink poison for fun? This, you see, I get really upset and angry about this because if that's your mindset, then you're not doing the program. You are not doing what I told you to do. You are still using willpower. And if you use willpower, you will fail. Because that's, that's how it goes. You have to change your mindset. You have to reframe alcohol. And you cannot do this half-heartedly. You cannot think, nah, it'd be nice to stop drinking. That won't work. This has to be everything to you. Stopping drinking has to be your obsession. And no other outcome apart from quitting is what you will accept. I'm serious. You have to get determined about this. And look, I know therapists are supposed to pussyfoot around this and say, well, you know, oh, well done. How are you feeling? Look, enough of that bullshit. At some point, you have to take ownership of this problem that you created by consuming an addictive drug. I am not the sort of therapist who's going to say, there, there, just have one drink, you'll be okay. And well done, you did a week. Not well done, you did a week. If you do a week with no alcohol and then describe yourself as slipping up or buckling, you are not doing my program. You are using willpower and you will fail. And you might as well stop wasting your time because you're going nowhere doing it like that. And I'm sorry to say it so harshly, but look, being a teetotaler has to become the fabric of who you are. It has to become so ingrained in your personality that it is your belief structure. It is what you believe to be right. It's a bit like veganism, right? People become vegans because they have a very, very clear focus on what they believe to be right. Now, that doesn't mean that they're saints and they never go, oh, that bacon smells amazing. I'd love a bacon sandwich. Of course, they're human. They feel these emotions. It's just that their belief structure is so strong, so firmly rooted into who they are as a person that they know they're never going to buckle. And the way you get alcohol out of your life without this being a fight, without this being, a, a, you know, turning your weekends, weekends into this big battle that you have to get through is you have to think about alcohol the same way a vegan thinks about wearing a leather jacket. 
Now, of course, the leather jacket might make you warm. It might make you look good, but it goes so far against your beliefs that you would never consider it. This has to be your mindset about alcohol. You need to be crazy obsessed about being a sober individual. It's a part of who you are. And nothing can ever sway you from that. That's got to be your focus. And the difference between people who deal with this, the thousands and thousands of people who've stopped drinking with my help, the difference between those people and the thousands of people who failed is these people will do all the things that these people won't. These people say, oh, I hope I get through the weekend. I hope I don't buckle. I hope I don't fall. These people say, I'm so grateful I've got a weekend coming up. I am going to have the best time ever. I'm going to spend time with my family. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. And at no point am I going to drink because I do not want that filth in my life anymore. They know it. They're tunnel vision. They're focused. That's what you've got to get. And I get people joining the program. And after two days, they're emailing me saying, oh, I, I, I haven't quite you know, worked this out. I don't think it's working for me. What, after two days? Two days? You think it can be fixed in two days? Get the information in your head. This is not something that you can go, bang, fixed. This is a new way of life. You've got to reframe your whole existence. You've got to change your thoughts, change your beliefs, change your approach to life. Being a teetotaler is a passion for people like us. And I'll tell you why. Because we have spent decades changing the physical structure of our brains with this poison. So now, if I drink a glass of alcohol now, you know what's going to happen? My, my brain is going to light up like a Christmas tree. I'm going to have dopamine all over the place. I'm going to have serotonin all over the place. And it's years and years since I had a drink. And those people who say, you know, after 30 days, after 60 days, after 90 days, the, you know, your neural pathways go back to normal. It's bullshit. Never goes back. Never. In 20 years time, I could have a drink of alcohol. My brain would light up, light up like a Christmas tree. I can never drink again. And you can never drink again. Ever. And with that hard reality, you have a choice. You only have two choices, by the way. Well, three, if you include going back to drinking. Two, two choices, really. You, you can say, OK, I'm going to spend the rest of my life being miserable, forcing myself on a daily basis to avoid the thing I love most in all the world, like they do in AA. They say you're a broken person and you're a bad person. You've got to force yourself to stay away from drink for the rest of your life because you can't deal with it. Force yourself. Be a good boy. Be a good girl. Stay away from the booze. That is hell on earth. That is a miserable life. The second choice is what I'm offering you here, is you change your thinking. You reframe alcohol. You change it from being a, slow, a social pleasantry that helps you relax, that gives you confidence, or whatever other bullshit that you believe. You change it from that to being a vile, evil poison that wants to kill you. And at no point do you want this filth in your life anymore. And when you honestly hold this belief, then you don't have to battle to get through a weekend. You don't have to say, oh, thank God it's Monday. I made it through the weekend without having a drink. Whew! It just doesn't cross your mind. There are so many other better things you can do on a weekend than sit struggling not to drink. Please don't take this as an attack. This is not meant as an attack. It's, it's an expression of my frustration that you cannot do this half-heartedly. You cannot be 99 out of 100. You have to be all in on this. If you're serious about this, you have to go all in. You need to be one of those, you know, one of those people that turn to veganism and then just bore all their friends with it. I'm sorry, but you do. You have to be crazy about living a teetotal life. It has to be the core of who you are. It needs to be in there with, you know, I'm sure you wouldn't murder people. I'm sure you wouldn't commit sexual assault. I'm sure you wouldn't steal. I'm sure you wouldn't do this. And I'm sure you wouldn't do that. Why? Because it's a part of who you are as a person. Being a teetotaler is a part of who you are as a person. That's what it's got to be if you're serious about this. So flood your brain with the truth continuously, not over two days, 
over weeks, months, years. Get everything into your brain that you need to know about alcohol for you to establish this belief structure. Use the hypnosis tracks to embed it further into the subconscious. Use the tapping therapy and all the other coping strategies that I give you and allow this to become a part of your fabric, the person who you are. That's how you beat alcohol without it being painful, without using willpower, without struggling to get through a weekend. Thank you for watching. You have comments? Leave them below, please. Don't forget you can get in touch with me via the website www.stopdrinkingexpert.com.